Ons is by die Intercontinental Hotel in Johannesburg, waar hoofrechter Mogoen Mogoen uitzonderlijke vergadering geroep het, nadat die uitvoerende gesag en die rechtbank zwaarde gekruis het. Die Elbasheer kwestie blijk een streep in die sand te gewees het, want na dit het die uitvoerende gesag en vooral politieke partijen in die land ernstige kritiek jeens die rechtbank gelever. Rechter Mogoen het bevestig dat hij gevra is om met die president te ontmoet en die saak met hom op te neem. Mogoen het beklem toon dat geen rechter om selwan gedraad neem. Judges like others should be susceptible to constructive criticism. However, in this regard, the criticism should be fair and in good faith. Importantly, the criticism should be specific and clear. General gratuitous criticism is unacceptable. In the adjudication process, judges do not act as a collective with a collective mindset. Each judge is informed by constitutional values, her or his conscience and brings to bear an individual judgment. Of course, judges like other mortals err. There are several levels, of course, that serve as a corrective purpose. I beg your pardon, that serve a corrective purpose when judges make a mistake. That explains why the Constitution provides for an appeal mechanism. The rule of law is the cornerstone of our constitutional democracy. In simple terms, it means everybody, whatever her or his status, is subject to and bound by the Constitution and the law. As a nation, we ignore it at our peril. We can't pretend that nothing has been said because something has been said. And one of the healthiest approaches to challenges that judges must and will always adopt is so far as practicable to seek to address issues behind the door, behind closed doors, raise those issues with the powers that be, and leave them to deal with the issues the best way they know how. I'm Pauli van Wijk for Network 24, Johannesburg.